Hi, welcome to the Home Engineers channel again. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how I prevent a grub screw from damaging a shaft when I need a collar to be moved along the shaft and locked in place. Uh, generally what happens with a grub screw is you tighten it down, it will then bite into the outer diameter of the shaft and then that makes that collar very very difficult to move. A simple solution I've got is I just grab, um, this was a brass screw that I had, I've cut the head off so I can get it in the vise and then I've just cut a very very thin slither off the end of it just to go between the shaft and the grub screw so that when you lock the grub screw down it bites into the brass which then prevents the shaft from getting damaged. So, sorry. so shaft slides on if you notice the nugget I haven't even bothered deburring it I've just literally cut it off and drop that in to the hole put the grub screw on top and lock it down and then what will happen is the brass will actually deform to the shaft and and the, the, the grub screw then um, doesn't get uh, bit doesn't bite into the shaft I should say so I can undo that now slide it along to the next bit you can see there's just a little bit of a mark there from the brass but no damage to the shaft lock it down again give it a nice good grunge up so that you can see that there you go undo it again that then should be able to slide along there if you notice now there's no damage to the shaft I don't know if I can pick it up on the video but you can just see the slug in the bottom of the hole there and you can see it just poking through the bottom of the bore there Okay, like I say, very useful for when you're trying to do a job and you don't want the shaft to get damaged. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for viewing.